but now the men's 1500 meters final, the longest decider so far in the track. It's T54 for the most powerful track wheelchair athletes, and it includes the great Marcel Hoog, a 20 time major medalist, but today it was a bronze for him in the 400. But without David Weir here, it will be the man to beat over the longer distance. Tobias Lutzer of Switzerland, Itchbo, Hidalgo of Spain. Silver for him in the 800 metres, in the T53 category. The belt of Denmark is starting at five. Thomas Hamelak of Poland. 38 years of age. It's a good deal of experience. Julian Casoli of France brings a good deal of chat. Said he wasn't too concerned about either who or Weir coming into this. But will he challenge the silver bullet? Well, who? So often a champion, the 1500 meters, one of five gold medals he won last year. And Al Hassan Balde. We saw in the earlier final didn't really feature in it. Who took the bronze medal and Cassoli finished last. And Hoog is the world record holder, 254, set in Arbon in Switzerland in 2010. And he, the only man in the field to have gone under three minutes this season. Final of the men's 1500 meters is underway. Three and three quarter laps of the track. Cassoli trying to go on the uh, inside. Balde also off Hoog straight away. But when it comes to the longer races, well, he and Weir are the two men who've dominated down through the years. It was interesting uh, listening to David Weir speaking in advance of the Commonwealth Games and these games about how he how he gave up for a couple of years. But the Paralympic movement has grown hugely since then and so has that wonderful rivalry between himself and Marcel Hu. And it's the silver bullet at the front. We've got three laps to go. And Julian Cassoli looking to lead alongside him and Hoog at the moment is content to run this whole race at his own pace and just ensuring there that Casoli has to come on the outside and take the long way round if he wishes to take the lead and Casoli has talked a lot before this but he's yet to really deliver on the podium where it really matters and Hoog just moving out there maybe just to let Casoli know he's there Yes, Balde is doing very well actually at the moment in the second place for Germany. 302 as lifetime best set this year. Cassoli just behind, tilting for third place at the moment, but they're very tightly bunched right now. And Marcel Hu is the man who leads the way. That familiar silver helmet of his. Balde is faring very well in second place at the moment on the inside is Havelak of Poland. Cassoli in fourth place as they go past, and Bilkfeld of Denmark is in fifth place, just under two laps to go. And 197 there is Roger Puigbo of Spain, just at the back of the field, and maybe just being dropped now. He is coming in to this race from a different classification. The T53 has a personal best of three minutes, one second. And point nine six and the field now is just beginning to spread out yes a big surge coming from Cassidy on the side as he goes out into lane two he was trying to take uh, both Balde and Hoog in one felt motion but Hoog remains in the lead here Balde defending second place very well and Cassidy has to think again in third place on the outside and he's just in front of uh, Roger Prepos made his way back up again but the bell is coming now and it's the great Marcel Hugo leads and 
still up there as Hamlek also in second place, trying to get in on the inside. And this is where Hoog's tactical nails will really come into play. Of course, he had to watch the back of David Weir during the Paralympics in London a couple of years ago. He doesn't have that distraction here. And now on the back straight, he is looking to stretch out this field and prepare for his finishing burst towards the line. Casoli is still in there, along with Balde. The two Frenchmen are behind him. And they, at the moment, look to be the best challenger for Hoog, if there is anybody who can challenge him from within this field. It's Hoog who leads the man coming into the final stretch. It's Balde doing brilliantly for Germany in second place, and Castle in third, and Marcel Hoog is back to his best. He's going to win the 1,500 metres. Balde takes the silver medal. Castle is third, and fourth is Havelang. Fifth is Puipo, and in the end, it's Leutcher who's there in sixth place, and we have Six finishers for Marcel Hoog, top of the pile yet again, and that is his eighth major title. Well, he may have fired blokes earlier on, comparatively over 100 metres, but Marcel Hoog, the silver bullet, back in form there. Five goals in the World Championships in Lyon. When David Weir was absent 12 months ago, had to settle for Silvers on his last major visit to London in the Paralympics, but gold here in Swansea. Alsan Balde of Germany, a superb silver for him, and Julian Casoli will finish on the podium in a major championship. The Frenchman takes the bronze. Yeah, it was a great finish by Hoog. He did fantastically well. And Balde, I was really impressed by his performance in this today. And you could say he has come in of age in this. Al Hassan Balde of Germany. Hoog had a little look inside. And Balde, well, how well he did. Kassoli coming through in third place. It's another major championship medal for him. Well, gold in 2010 on the roads in the 10,000 metres. Castley third today. And Marcel Hoog does it again. It's his first gold of the week to go with the bronze he won earlier today in the 400. And it may not be his final gold. And he is another big star who has risen to the occasion here in Swansea. Today in the 400. And it may not be his final gold. He is another big star who has risen to the occasion here in Swansea.